Cayo Costa Island, Spanish for the key by the coast, for the most part has remained the same since man began fishing its shores thousands of years ago. Spanning over eight miles long, it's the largest unspoiled barrier island along southwest Florida's Gulf Coast. From the Calusa Indians to the early pioneer families, up through modern times, Cayo Costa has been an island of great beauty and importance for people's livelihoods, family quality time, and hours of recreation. To understand Cayo Costa Island, you must first understand its people and why they chose to live there. I know about Cayo Costa because my grandfather, uh, Tariba Jose Padilla, or Padilla as we say, was, uh, he, he discovered it, lived there and raised his family there. When they first went to the island, they all spoke Spanish. That's the only language they knew. Yeah, I lived on Cayo Costa for, I guess, about 25 years, I guess. My grandmother, my uncles, and my cousins, they lived there. I really didn't appreciate it that much when I was a child. I just took it for granted, but now I know that it was beautiful and it was uh, uh, not messed up. <laughs> I would go out on the boat when I was eight or nine, 10, 11, and I started, you know, drawing a share and working when I got to be about 11 and 12. And we were commercial fishing in, and we had crews completely different than it is today. You wouldn't even recognize the commercial fishing that they do today with what we did back when I was a kid. <laughs> 